Okay, we're streaming. Kira TV Live will we'll start very, very soon. Chris, are you ready? I'm ready. Jeff, are you ready? I am ready. All right, Kira TV Live will start in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back to BOE Live. We're live in the studio. We're talking about the education system, and we can't do that unless we have Jeff Strait. So we have Jeff on today. We're back. Another episode this week. We're going to be talking about a couple of things, including Marsha McNeil, the Teacher of the Year. We're going to be talking about the Board of Ed meetings, and we're going to do a little bit of discussion about some websites and sports in the area. But before we get down into it, we want to always tell you to please comment to us. Tell us where you're watching from. If you have any questions for Jeff about the, uh, the Board of Education or any of the uh, events that we're talking about or about Marsh McNeil and how she got the car, just you know, throw it into the comments. We'll talk about it at the end of the show because we do have a lot to get into today. So we're going to get started and then we'll come back and we'll keep talking to you. So we want to get started with Jeff. Jeff, hi again. Hey, Bruce. How are you doing? Hey, I'm living the dream every day. <laughs> so we want to talk about someone who else that was living the dream Yes. Last week. Yes. And that's Marsha. Our teacher of the year, Marsha McNeil, a math teacher at Centerville Middle School. Uh, each, we have this great tradition in the county. We've had it for years. Uh, the, the teacher gets, a, uh, to use for a year, a, a car. This year it's a car from Hertridge Ford. It was a nice uh, champagne-colored uh, <laughs> a, a sh uh, escape, uh, the car is. Uh, she gets it for a year, and she was presented the car at a recent sports event. And we actually have video of that, so you can see the champagne-colored dream. So, Ted... Kick it to the video, my man. So, is that a football game? Oh, Marsha, here's Marsha Gaines. 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 Oh, Marsha, here's that's cool. So congratulations to Marsha McNeil. Her, her journey has been amazing. I'm sure she's had a great time now. Her trip to do. So, but we have a couple more things to talk about. Yes. As always, we want to talk about some of the things that are going on at the Board of Ed. So, what do we want to talk about Board of Ed meetings, Jeff? Yes, well, uh, a <laughs> necessary evil, pretty much, is for Boards of Ed to have their meetings. Our uh, next meeting is October 4th. Uh, and if you want to follow along uh, what's going on at the meeting, the meetings are all available online. They're available on QAC TV, Channel 7, and uh, at our uh, Facebook and YouTube channels. Um, you, but you can follow along by going to finding the agenda. Yep, and we actually are going to make it easy for you today. We're going to show you exactly how to do that. So we have our computer hooked up, and Jeff's going to walk us through exactly what we need to do to find out more information. So we're on the... Board of Ed's website, or we're on the Queen Anne's County Public Schools website, yep. qacps.org. We've gone there. Now what? Go to the, uh, the right side and, and go down to you find shites, sites and shortcuts. Shites shortcuts. Shites and shortcuts. All right. You find board docs. So right under the sites shortcuts, we got board docs. We're going to open that up. When we open it up, it's going to end up looking like this. Like so we're at, yeah, we're at the welcome page for Queen Anne County Public Schools. Go to meetings. We're going to go over to meetings. And there we have our listed meetings, all the ones that we've had and are coming up. We have October 4th, correct? Mm -hmm. So we just view the agenda? Yes. All right. This shows you the schedule for the every event coming up during that meeting. That might well change before the meeting, but this is basically it. You can also find the documents. We Heaven knows we have plenty of PDFs and, and PowerPoints or whatever. Well, you can read these here. Yep. Just uh, click on these icons yes. and they'll bring them right open. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. You can watch them right there. Uh, and you see what's coming up in, for that entire uh, meeting. And some things will be added before the meeting, but this is what the, the uh, board members follow along as, on as well. Great. So if you want information before you even get to it, go in here, open up the docs, see what's going on so that you're more educated as well. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So while we're also at the uh, qacps.org website, what else do we want to talk about? In the upper uh, left corner, sure. Bruce, go is, on to the top. Is, yep, is a drop-down 
uh, of every school, all 14 schools. You can find out uh, what's going on I at each school Ooh. by pick, picking the school. Yeah. Uh, of our uh, two high schools, uh, eight elementary schools, and four middle schools. Sure, uh, sure. As things get busy in, in the year, like with uh, the, all the holiday presentations, go to the school, go to the elementary school and find out what's going on. Right, and if you have a couple of kids that are in different schools, it's so easy, you just go to this website and everything is right there in the drop down, so you can find all the information you need. You just need to remember one site, qacps.org, all your information. Yep, and, and uh, weather uh, announcements, fog, you know, which is a user our, our, our problem in this county, yeah. uh, will be in that, in the, on that page, on the home page, over in the uh, big type over in the right hand section. And it's almost that time of the year yeah. for fog delays. Please, please. So they'll be coming up. I can't wait. I get to sleep in. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I don't. So on here, Jeff, are we going, is there somewhere if I go to staff, I can find a picture of you? No, no. They've been, I know that with Webmaster, they've been erased. Okay, well, you know, we want to make sure kids keep going to school. That's probably smart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else? We want to talk about some sports that are going on. Yes, we have another uh, double home game weekend for our two high schools. Um, and even more important or more uh, interesting is the uh, Ken Island has their homecoming parade and their homecoming game tonight. The parade starts from Ken Island Elementary School, uh, winds its way through Stevensville to the high school starting at 5 o'clock. The game against Parkside starts at 7. So right now, all the kids are getting ready. They're getting ready. They're oh, getting yeah. ready. This oh, there'll be floats. Day. Oh, Lord. Yes. Oh, yeah. This is, this is probably one of the most fun times of the year for all the kids. Classic, classic small town parade. It, they're, they're, they're just fun to watch and be part of and to cheer them on. And then Queen Anne County is playing uh, Kent County at home, 7 o'clock again. And if you want to get more information about where those games are being held, we can go to a website, right? Yes. Yeah, What's yeah. that one? It's called, the overarching website is called de digitalsports.com. At each one, you can pick a school or you can go directly to, uh, put in the, the name of the mascot and then digital sports. Like for the Lions, it's lions. Uh, dot. Uh, digitalsports.com, you go right to the, that handsome uh, green and yellow page. Yep, and we got that pulled up right here. So we have lines.digitalsports.com. It's that easy. Yep. Or you can go to Buccaneers. If you, if you're, yeah, if you're, a big, <laughs> if you're a fan, you know how to spell Buccaneers. And that'd be Buccaneers.digitalsports.com for Kent Island. Right, and they're playing Parkside this week. Yep. The Lions are playing... Kent County. Kent County. Kent County. That's a, that's a game. Yep. All right, and so hopefully it goes a lot better this week. Yeah. I, I, I know the kids. I got to meet them. I got to interview them. Yeah. That'll actually be yeah, coming yeah. out soon. Yeah. They're always ready. I'm sure they're going to be back and better than ever. And that's sports. We, that's also, sports. we should kind of talk about uh, the JV and the varsity uh, we should, we'll get to Ken that. Island Buccaneers uh, yeah. field hockey. Because well, they're, they're doing amazing right yeah, now. Yeah, their record is staggering. You did that interview with the kids last year. Uh, uh, just amazing stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Follow they're, along. And, yeah. and there's nothing more fun than going to a, to a, a high school uh, sports game. Yeah, it's so much better than pro sports. The kids <laughs> love it. There's so much, you know, the, the, the feelings are there. Yeah. It's not yeah. a paycheck. It's just fun. Wow. And, you know, they, they take it, you know, to heart. It's, it's a lot of fun to watch. And they're doing great. The, the JV girls, I know, sh been shutting people out. They're doing amazing. So keep up with your sports. Keep up with your schools by going to all these websites that we talked about today. It was great talking with Jeff again. Let's see. Uh, I know we, we offered questions. We didn't get any today. At least I don't see any because our web page is a little slow, so I'm going to refresh it a little bit. But keep sending in questions wherever you want. We can always answer them on the next show. So we have Jeff here. It was great talking with Jeff. I hope you guys keep watching, keep liking, and subscribing to all of our videos on QACTV.com. Go to our Facebook. Go to our YouTube. And go to your YouTube, right? Yes. 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 Yeah. So like us everywhere. Love us. Share us. We appreciate it. We've had a lot of fun talking to Jeff and talking for you guys today. We'll see you next time, sailors. All right, good job, guys. This ends QAC TV Live. Thanks, everybody, for watching. My name is Mitch. <laughs> Are we off? <laughs>